Hi guys, so I'm back with my new baby. I realised in my other video I didn't do her name reveal. So I'm going to do that in this video. Um, her name is going to be Cassidy. I just thought it was a very simple but pretty name and it really suits her little face. And I'm sorry, Casper's deciding to look in the mirror. Not in the mirror, in the window, sorry. Hi. <laughs> so if you hear him, that's just because he's in the room. Um, but I hope you guys are all okay. Um, so this literally is just like what, a video just straight from her box opening. But I had to show you her size compared to Harlow. Because I thought she was small. And then I've put her next to Harlow and I'm like, yeah, she's massive. It's so funny seeing the size differences in the Reborns. Like, I completely forgot how small Harlow is, really. Sorry, guys. I just had to pause because the cat was trying to play with his litter box and it just would have ruined the video but beyond the point so yeah you do forget like how big a naught to three baby is compared to a newborn like a sized baby really so i was like yeah she's massive really <laughs> but i thought i would change her with you guys because i've not done a changing video with her yet so one of the first things i always do is change my babies after i get them it's just a tradition i kind of have with the reborns um, do you guys have, like, sometimes, like, a tradition that you do, like, when you first get a reborn? Like, is there something specific you do? Um, like, do you spend the day with them? Or do you change them like I do? Do you try and pick a name for them if you haven't picked one? Because I know some people don't name them until they have the reborn, like, until they have their reborns with them. Because they, they find, in person, they come up with names better than they do, like, on camera and stuff, which makes sense see for me i i like to come up with my name beforehand because it helps me bond with my ba my new baby i guess you could say just that little bit more um it's always been the way i've done it but obviously everyone's different so i'd like to hear like what you guys do if you do it the way i do or if you um name the babies when you get them or what traditions you have when you first get your reborn i love things like that so her top that she's got on is this like pink and gold and like teal colour top and it says mummy and me and these were from Primark I've literally bought these brand new purely for her um, and I've bought them in Nord 3 which seems to fit her like literally perfectly so she's definitely going to be like a chunky Nord 3 size which I'm actually excited about because I've not had a Nord 3 baby in a little while um, I've honestly had like newborns for the longest of times but I think she will probably I think I can stretch some newborn on her because her Harlow wears like some up to a month as well so I'm sure like I could stretch the up to a month on her well I hope I can <laughs> because I've kind of made us so they share a wardrobe but Harlow's stuff's always baggy on her anyway because she is quite a dinky dot in in comparison to like a chunky not three baby so <laughs> I mean, you can see these are like newborn and they're, these are, sorry, these are not three. Woo! I'm sorry, baby. I just tried to lift her in and then she's gone with them. But she's, a, she's quite chunky. I'm so sorry you had to see that, guys. I've never had that happen when I've changed the baby before. Oh, no. They've got a rip in them. Let me go find some different leggings, some different trousers, guys. I'm back. So I found some teal, like ribbed leggings she can wear. See, they're newborn, but they're stretchy, so I know they'll fit. Um, I'm still gonna keep these trousers. I just need to get some sewing equipment and just sew the seam, because, uh, as I thought, it's literally right on the seam, so it's it'll be nice and easy to fix. It looks like it's done on blanket stitch, so that's quite straightforward to sort. That won't take me two minutes. I just don't have any um, sewing equipment on me at the moment. I don't have like any needles. But these are first size, but they should fit because, like I say, they're stretchy. And to be fair, these might be slightly better because they're quite warm for this weather. See what I mean by I can fit my hand through these like easily. And like Harlow wears these as well. They're a little bit baggy on Harlow, but they are first size. <laughs> there i mean they're a little bit tight around the waist but you can't tell oh she's so cute <laughs> it's 
So, yes, it matches. Good, good, good. But yeah, like, like, I was, like I was saying, like I've not had an order three baby in a while, so I'm kind of used to having that newborn size baby. So she's obviously with being slightly bigger. I'm still getting used to that, but I like having that bigger baby. So I'm gonna put some sockies on her to keep her little tootsies warm. We don't want them to get cold. I've got quite a thick socks for her as well. Hmm. I'm just thinking I might just leave that lifted up so then when it's on her leg it looks more even but it also means that like her whole legs covered and not just the top of it if that makes sense guys I don't know yeah that looks better like that like it's not as thick around the bottom of it but it keeps the whole of her leg warm that way because they are quite thick socks so they should be all right for her I have to admit she is fun to dress, she's quite a nice chunky size so and I know that Primark Nord 3 fits her so she's got more options. <laughs> Honestly Primark doesn't do a lot of no like newborn clothes and I love Primark's clothes um, so the fact that she can wear them and like not struggle in like the Nord 3 will be really nice. Um, I do also have this top she's going to wear on top of this just to keep her warm because it's a cold day and it says create your own rainbow. And it's part, it is part of the same set with the flowers, as you can see. So I thought I'll put it on her and obviously she can wear this. Because this is like a sweater material like her, the bottoms wear. Because they're kind of like jogging bottoms. Um, so it's a little bit thicker, but it's also like a little bit looser on her as well than the actual top itself, which is that little bit tighter. Which is fine because it, it works quite well with what she's wearing. Let me just sort out the... The arms. I always hate doing arms on like the babies because I always feel like they just look so uncomfortable. But then when they're wearing the clothes, they look so cute, so it's worth it. Um, but yeah, Christmas is coming up in the next couple of days, guys. I'm going to do like a, a series of what I got for Christmas and Christmas like videos, um, including like the Reborns special. So definitely keep your eyes out for that because that will be coming soon. Um, oh, I love the way that it just folds on the hand. That's so cute. Um, so, yeah, I've just been, like, super busy. I've not really had loads of time to film some videos, but I've been wanting to film some for you guys, so that's obviously why I'm filming these. Um, so if you've got a couple over the next couple of weeks, like, the next week, and then, obviously, I'll do Christmas videos as well. This video is probably going to be posted 23rd, I think because I'm going to give some time between my videos um, so that people can watch her box opening um, without it being like, who's this? Because I have had that before where I've, I've, I've posted a box opening but some people haven't seen it and then I've posted the video the same day with the baby and they're like, who's this? And I'm like, she's in my last video. <laughs> so I thought I'd literally do it like that. So it gives you guys time to watch her box opening if you haven't. But yeah, this is Baby Cassidy. Um, I hope you guys liked her changing video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And we'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.